What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. This highlight video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. Thursday afternoon, we've got playoffs. That's right, at Los Alamitos, taking on Long Beach Wilson in the first round, visiting Bruins on the upset warpath today, while the Griffins, seated third in the Division I bracket, are looking for some momentum to start this postseason. They're going to send their ace, Ryan Denhart, to the circle, but the junior looked more like Ricky Vaughn in this one. Ooh. Leadoff hitter Mackenzie Barbara wears that on the neck. She'd be okay. Then a walk and another hit by pitch is going to load the bases for the Bruins here in the first inning. Then, with Caitlin Howard up there, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, E, E. That error is going to plate Barbara. Could have been a lot worse than 1-0, but Mary Iacopa with a heads-up snap throw is going to end the inning down at third, and that play really set the tone for some leather-flashing performances out there. Wilson sends Joette Vega to the circle, and the sophomore gets by with a little help from her friends early. Kylie Yanez, yeah, yeah, Benny, man. Great backhanded stop. Bruins starting to feel this upset vibe, but you can't hold down the good Griffins forever. In the second inning, Cami Sellers is a buyer on this triple from Caitlin, only a lad and Sellers is going to come all the way around from first to tie it. And even though Los Alamitos isn't exactly clicking on all cylinders, they are in the game and it's 1-1. Sophomore Brianna Jewett comes on in relief for Los Alamitos and the Bruins get to her in the third inning. Back-to-back -back singles from Julia Juarez and Amanda Castro put two on with one out, both of those singles to right field. And then Howard's Appliance is going to win this poker hand with three of a kind. Another single to right field is going to play at Juarez and make it 2-1. So with a runner on third base, Jen Tobler is going to lift this offering into center field and Jenna Holcomb goes all Drake. I made a decision last night that I would dive for it. The run does score and put Wilson up 3-1 in the third, but man, it could have been a lot worse without that web gem. And then the Tennessee-bound senior volunteers to spark the offense as well in the bottom of the third. She singles through the hole, and Ariana Bellarde is going to lead off with a single, get to third, while Holcomb takes second on the throw. Still nobody out. So up next, Jenna Keen to send this one to the window, to the wall. Or the fence that is both runs score easily on another rbi triple for los alamitos keen would score on a sacrifice fly to put the griffins up for three after three innings and that's pretty much all Juet needed the sophomore didn't allow a runner to reach second base after the third inning thanks in large part to the great defensive effort behind her gonzalez with the unassisted double play in the sixth and then in the seventh with two outs to right field keen is mean with that grand larceny winner winner survive in advance dinner bruins give the griffins a scare but los alamitos wins this one one going away, 7-3, and they're going to be at Chino High on Tuesday for the second round. Thanks as always to all of our sponsors, including Long Beach Transit, who has stops on Route 1 at CSU Dominguez Hills, South Bay Pavilion, and the StubHub Center. Obviously, all these playoffs are just getting started in the local area, and you're going to find all of the coverage right here at gazettesports.com and the Press-Telegram.